Good morning. I'm uh, Dr. Shweta Chaudhary from Anatomy Department, Assistant Professor, and I'll be talking about uh, spleen today. So, what is spleen? Spleen is the lympho lymphoid organ which is situated in the left hypochondrium of abdominal region. So, today we'll know about the location, structure, basic function, the about the what are the structures entering or leaving the spleen, their course and drainage. We'll talk about the ligaments attached to the spleen and the clinical anatomy related to it. So, what is spleen? Spleen is the lymphoid organ which is situated in the left hypochondrium of abdominal region. It is soft and friable, covered with a thin capsule and it is shaped like a wedge. It is a wedge shaped organ and it can be uh, triangular also or uh, it can be wedge shaped and it can be tetrahedral. So, the three uh, shapes of uh, spleen can be tetrahedral, wedge shaped or triangular. So, what is the size? It is 1 inch in thickness. 3 inch in breadth and 5 inches in length and weight is about 7 ounce. So, it is about 1 inch in thickness, 3 inch in breadth, 5 inch in length and weight is about 7 ounce. It is related to 9 to 12, 11th rib. So, the 3 ribs related to the spleen are 9, 10 and 11. So, there is a Harry's dictum which is called as 1, 3, 5, 9 and 11. So, 1 is the thickness, 3 inches is the breadth, 5 inches the length and 7 ounce is the weight and 9 to 11th rib it is look it is related with. So, what is the long axis of spleen related to? It is related to the 10th rib. So, the spleen is lying along the 10th rib. So, what is the, where it is located? It is located in the left hypochondrium reaches up to the epigastrium umbilical region hypogastrium and related to the fundus of the stomach and the diaphragm. So, what is the position of the spleen? It is related to 9th to 11th rib. So, it has got the two ends the medial end and the lateral end. So, medial end if it is the spleen so it has got the medial end and the lateral end. Medial end is posterior the lateral end is anterior. So, it has got two borders, the superior border, the inferior border and intermediate border. The surfaces are the diaphragmatic surface and the visceral surface. So, this is the, this is the visceral surface and opposite to that is the diaphragmatic surface. So, it is related to the uh, stomach, then kidney, then colon and in the hilum of the spleen the tail of pancreas. So, the three organs related to the spleen are stomach, then left kidney and the colon along with the tail of pancreas. So, superior border is notched. So, notching is signifying the development of spleen as fusion of small spleniculi. So, the spleniculi are uh, they are uh, the uh, they are developing and fusing to form one spleen. So, if there is failure of fusion of these spleniculi to form, then it will lead to the accessory spleen, formation of accessory spleen. The hilum is present on the visceral surface, splenic vessel and nerve lymphatics enter and the tail of pancreas. So, what are the structures related to the tail of pancreas related to the hilum, then stomach, stomach then the left kidney and the colon. So, the four structures which are related to the visceral surface of spleen are colon, stomach, then left kidney and the tail of pancreas in the hilum. So, what are the visceral impressions we have already done? So, diaphragmatic surface is related to 9, 10th, 11th rib, the costal diaphragmatic recess of the pleura and it is the organ which moves with respiration. So, it has got the this is the transfer section showing the peritoneal relations of the spleen. So, we have got two ligaments the gastrosplenic ligament and the linorenal ligament. Gastrosplenic ligament has got the short gastric vessels and the posterior gastric vessels whereas, the linorenal ligament has got the splenic artery and the tail of pancreas. So, this is the splenic artery which is have, which is related to the linorenal ligament and the other ligament is the gastrosplenic ligament. 
so the two ligaments related to the spleen are gastrosplenic and the linorenal so above it is related to the costo diaphragmatic recess and the 9 10 11 crani uh, 9 10 11 uh, ribs and the cranicocolic ligament which forms the sustentaculum spleni linus which is supporting the ligament uh, supporting the spleen from below so it is attached from the uh, splenic flexure of colon to the to the diaphragm phrenicocolic ligament is forming the sustentaculum linus so it has got two ligaments gastrosplenic and linorenal so the gastrosplenic has got posterior gastric artery the short gastric artery and along with the fat whereas the linorenal ligament has got the splenic vessels tail of pancreas arterial supply of spleen it is supplied by the splenic artery which is the branch coming from the celiac trunk it is a tortuous artery running behind the stomach on the upper border of pancreas so what is the venous drainage it is drained by the splenic vein which is joined by the inferior mesenteric artery and drains into the superior mesenteric art, uh, vein by forming the portal vein so what is the palpation of spleen palpation normally the spleen is not palpable but when it is enlarged it is palpable so about twice the size of the normal it is palpable for example in diseases like malaria and kalazar the spleen becomes palpable splenomegaly is the enlargement of spleen called as the splenomegaly it becomes very large and grows towards the right atelic fossa and in the direction of axis of 10th rib so this is the mild moderate and severe enlargement of spleen so where the uh, shoulder where is the uh, pain of spleen going to it is going to the left shoulder because it irritates the left dome of diaphragm so what happens in the blunt trauma there is fracture of ribs along with the splenic rupture so they may lacerate the spleen and may cause the splenic rupture which causes the bleeding profuse bleeding and intraperitoneal hemorrhage along with the shock so decreased uh, blood pressure and increased heart rate is characteristic feature of splenic rupture so in these cases we do splenectomy so splenectomy is done in cases of the splenic rupture so total splenectomy doesn't produce any serious effect so it's not a vital organ so accessory spleen it is present in the gastrosplenic or linorenal ligament up to the ovary or uh, testis so it can go down up to the ovary or testis and usually it is present in the derivatives of dorsal mesogastrium because the spleen develops from the dorsal mesogastrium so it is gastrosplenic and linorenal ligament where the accessory spleen is present so it is embedded in the two layers of gastrosplenic or linorenal ligament so splenomegaly we are we are palpating the spleen from from right to left side splenomegaly it is can be 10 times enlarged about two times when it is enlarged it is palpable below the left costal margin at the end of inspiration and it is enlarged about three times its normal size so there is a question of uh, splenic rupture also when the patient is having abdominal uh, pain in the flank and shoulder pain the ambulance rides into emergency room with blood pressure creep kept dropping and appearing of pale uh, pale appearing patient with rapid heartbeat what is the cause so cause is the splenic rupture and due to that there is decreased blood pressure and increased heart rate so the cause is lying in the spleen so if any the blunt trauma any injury to the abdomen with blunt trauma we can think of the splenic rupture so that is all for today